Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, a lot of you have been asking me what's the development of Windows 10 in the insider rings and so what will it bring to Windows 10 for everybody so here's the thing is the insider rings are now pretty much Windows 11 the beta and dev channel of Windows 11 and so only the release preview gets Windows 10 and it's the bug fixing updates that basically they get about a week before we get it here. So without any big insider testing, what it shows is that Windows 10 is going to pretty much stay the way it is. It's as simple as that because there's no real big new feature update coming up in the future. Once again, we are going to get 21H2. If you look at your Windows 10 with the uh, Winver command, um, most of you are probably at 20H2 or 21H1. And of course, your ending, the build number ending should be 1237. Some of you, a small number, a small fraction of you are probably on 20, version 2004 which is getting its last update in December. So you should be moving on to something else. Anybody that is older than that, anybody that is like, you know, I get some people saying sometimes, I, I'm on 1909, am I, am I okay? You're not, you're not getting security updates. You are, and you should not be there. You should be at a more recent version. It's very important. As for a lot of people mentioning, well, I'm on Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 is too buggy to go to Windows 10. It's not. Windows 10 is very stable. And, um, you know, I still get a lot of people saying, well, I get tons of stuttering and of that's in your machine. Check what you have. Check what you've installed. Check your drivers. Check if you have crapware, all sorts of, you know, useless software. It's extremely important. No, it doesn't stutter. No, it doesn't have any problems or glitches uh, of, of any kind. It works great. If you have these issues, stop thinking that it's a major Windows 10 issue. There's pretty much nothing happening in Windows 10 right now that is a problem. It doesn't mean it doesn't have minor bugs because that's why we get bug fixes um, every month. But... It is not a problematic operating system and it works great. The last three updates, version 2004 until now, are rock solid and have no issues. You know, as a tech guy, I see it all the time. The majority of problems that I've seen over time is not Windows related. You've got something in your machine that is much more of a problem, creating that stuttering. Um, you know, too many people install tons of software that is useless and shouldn't even be there. Then they wonder why Windows doesn't work well. Uh, same for, you know, uh, optimizers of any kind. You don't need anything. Windows has all the tools needed. Windows doesn't need a cleaning software. It doesn't need anything else than Windows. Keep that in mind and, and stick to that. And you'll see Windows runs fine when you run just Windows. It's really mostly the fault of a software, third, third party software, or, you know, bad drivers. That is so common, bad drivers. Um, it's very important to uh, note that and make sure that the minimum requirements are at least, um, you know, in a decent level. When you go to your task manager, you know, how much RAM do you have uh, in your computer? Eight is a minimum, an absolute minimum. Uh, I've got eight here. This is the absolute minimum for your Windows 10 machine to work well. You've got only four. Don't, don't ask why your computer is slow or stuttering. 16, optimal. For most people, 16 is optimal. Um... You know, you'll get by with 8, but 16 is optimal. Above that, it depends what you do. More than 16 is useless for the majority of regular users. But more than 16 can be useful depending on what you do with your computers. 
And for the rest, there's a lot of things that you need to check. Check your discs. Um, you know, is your disc being uh, solicited too much? Is there a problem with you know uh, your hard drive being just working just too hard? You can see that in the task manager. This is a major cause of stuttering. Once again, not a Windows problem. You need to know why is your hard drive being used so much. And, uh, you know, it's, it's important to understand that because Windows 10 is rock solid. And this is the cool part of the future of Windows 10. The fact that it's rock solid with just minor updates of, you know, uh, a little bug fixes a month, a little cumulative update of patch Tuesday security. Windows 10 should be running fine for the next years, which maybe is, you know, when you think about it, it's exactly what you want. And last but not least, too much information is wrong about a lot of people posting comments. Windows 10 is getting support officially until the end of 2025. Okay? Stop thinking about, oh, well, you know, Microsoft apparently announced that it's going to, um, you know, shut down Windows 10 next year or no. That is from the beginning. We already know that from the first 2015 version, we knew that Windows 10 was to be supported 10 years until 2025. Every Windows operating system has 10 years of support. That means Windows 11 probably, because Microsoft did not say anything, but Windows 11 possibly and probably has 10 years of support also. So don't panic. And yes, Windows 10 is a great operating system to go to and it works fine. If you have problems, well, look at your machine or what you do with it because uh, it actually doesn't have any uh, issues, really major issues of any kind. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe.